and today joining me is the director of the Free Speech Union, Jan McVarish. Thank you for coming on the show Thanks for the Andy. first time. And his back is left in the corner. He's our socialist. It's Andy McDonald. He's a trade unionist by profession. Look, this week, guys, we saw the NatCon conference in Brussels. The sound of heavy jackboots outside, the police storming in, and the mayor of Brussels cancelling the event. Is this a sign of things to come, Jan, if we get a Labour government? Well, it wasn't just one mayor, it was three who were involved and there was two venues that cancelled and the third one held the line and refused to be cancelled despite political pressure behind the scenes. So I think it, it's really, really serious what's gone on there and it was very disappointing to see, well, we're treating, for example, in the House of Commons not taking this seriously, oh, yeah. treating it as a joke and as a way of having a dig at the other at the Tories, in particular Suella Braverman. But, um, I think that, which could be an indication, yes, that um, we're in for a really rough ride when it comes to free speech, because if you don't actually understand the point of it uh, and the principles of it, then you really are not in a position to defend it. And there's some high profile politicians there like Nigel Farage, Suella Braverman was there, um, you know, trying to get their points across, talking about, um, you know, security and, and uh, in Europe and, and making our borders safer and stuff like that. And then, yeah, this mayor, three mayors, as, as Jan rightly says, tries to shut this event down. Is it a sign of things to come under a Labour government? I don't see how it would be a, a sign of things to come under a Labour government. None of the mayors are a member of the Labour Party, or at least the British Labour Party, so that doesn't really make sense. And, you know, that point about West Street, I think he was more mocking the fact that a serving MP was going earning the big bucks in Brussels than serving her constituents. More than anything, I think it was a jibe about Miriam Cates and uh, Swella Braverman going and serving their own interests rather than uh, you know, serving the constituents. And I think it is funny that Suella did go and talk about border security, considering the fact that she did fail in her role as Home Secretary to protect our borders. But, but that's besides the point. I think when, when we look at free speech, you know, the same people that are condemning the police trying to shut this uh, conference down, are the same people that were calling for the pro-ceasefire protests to be shut down because there were some fringe members who were extremists. I think it's the very same logic. But Jan, uh, we see this in, in Brussels, and I was quite staggered by it. Actually, it played into Nigel's hands, I think, a little bit, and, and Suella's hands. But we already see this in this country, I think, with some of our universities and our educational facilities where they, where they ban speakers. Well, I think, I mean, I, it's of a different order in Brussels because it was uh, the state ultimately got involved and the police were there to shut down the conference rather than protect it from the protesters. So the argument was made by one of the mayors uh, to the venues that security would be an issue. Uh, there wasn't time for a risk assessment yeah. and therefore the police um, uh, couldn't be expected to uh, to make sure that the conference could go ahead safely yeah. without being shut down by protesters. However... Over here, while we haven't seen a situation yet where the police actually raid an event and, uh, and shut it down, the silencing happens behind the scenes before it ever gets to the venue. So at the Free Speech Union, we ha and I organise events for the Free Speech Union, we have, a, a, in the last of four years, we have had so many instances of really very respectable uh, organisations and individuals who want to organise events and they just cannot even get past the first stage because the venue will be warned off or will be wary uh, even before anybody calls them. Yeah. But there are threats made. And also that, that establishes a kind of culture where people expect there to be trouble or expect to be having threatening calls to staff, for example. Yeah. And that makes it very difficult for venues to say yes. And it isn't just higher education. It's, it's theatres. It's yeah. comedy clubs. Yeah. It's right the way across civic and cultural life. And, mm. um, you know, you don't even know about these. Well, not you, but we don't even yep. know because you'll never hear what doesn't get uh, aired in the first place. So it's, it's, it's very, very serious over here, but it's um, not reached the point yet yeah. where, where we've had the police actually shut so down. So let's go venue. back to the left of the corner. Andy, let's just imagine that next year we have a, a NatCon conference in, for example, say, Birmingham. Um, and the, the mayor of the, uh, the Midlands, whoever it is, then decides to, to ban this conference. Uh, would you be in support of that? I, 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 that's a wild hypothetical you know uh, there was a natcon conference last year in london under a labor mayor that wasn't banned so i, I think if you track the logic of the okay, events that, happening in the uk there hasn't it, been a banning. you're sounding like a politician here andy let's well no it's it, just the truth isn't it a labor it mayor did way. not ban the do event do you support the, the the mayor in brussels banning this conference uh i think it's it's his city it's down to him to to decide what he wants in his city it's not for me to decide i'm Jesus. not i'm not from brussels no but that's the voice of Labour, you see, Jan. This is a, a Labour supporter, our left in the corner. I think it is probably a sign of, of things to come 
if Labour do get in power this year. But, you know, this is a fundamental part of our society is the ability to, to say what you want. You're allowed to offend people. You're allowed to have demonstrations. You're allowed to protest. I mean, even the ones that come out here on Parliament Square on a Wednesday night, and, and you know, some of it's I don't agree with. We've seen from the rivers to the sea, um, shown on Big Ben on uh, just a few weeks back. But, you know, they, the people that do come out have that right to protest. And when the states start getting involved, Jan, it sort of, it gets rid, it, it chips away at democracy. Oh, absolutely. But and also it's so it's the use of the law uh, as it was attempted in this case in Brussels. So that, that's heavy. You know, if you actually get a legal order which has to be enforced by the local police uh, to uh, to shut down an event, that's that's very, very serious. And, you know, if you're from the left, then, you know, people on the left are flagging up this week that uh, an event in Berlin was actually raided by the police, yeah. which is a pro-Palestinian event. Uh, and that was shut down on hate hate speech uh, grounds. Yeah. So, you know, it's really important that everybody's consistent on this. Yep. And uh, over here, obviously, those are beyond our, uh, necessarily beyond our uh, jurisdiction, our concern. But it's really, really important that we don't just simply make this a left-right issue. Because if, you, if they come for you, they will come for the other side. Yeah. It's just inevitable. That's what happens. You've, legi you've legitimated yep. the shutting down of, of, of speech, which is well within the bounds of democracy. Democracy. It's well within that. And that's, you know, if we're going to have a, a democratic culture, free speech has got to be fundamental to that. And, you know, whether you're a Labour voter or whatever, you need to hold to account your politicians and your political yeah. leaders on yeah. free speech and democratic grounds. It's not just simply a left right issue. And the right also have to do that. I have to tr properly understand yeah. the importance of free speech. So, Andy, surprisingly enough, I agree with pretty much everything Jan has to say. That is a shock, I know that. But this is a slippery slope. This is a path towards communism, surely. How is it a path towards communism? Like? Surely you don't know that. You don't know what communism is. Communism I do is when know the what state communism controls what people think. Well, no, that's authoritarianism. Do. That's not yeah. just communism. Okay. So you is know, it a slippery slope? You, know, you, you can have authoritarians on the right and the left. Well, you can be so. as intellectual as you want, Andy, but this well, is Well, it's not very intellectual. It's just slippery, said something that was incorrect. He's, he's slope. right. He's yeah. right, isn't he? It's We've just, had dictators on the left and the right. We have. We and have. You, have. you can't get too cosy about no, this. No, we have no. to be alert yeah, we to have. threats but to free a slippery speech slope, surely, sides. Andy. I, I don't think it's a slippery slope into communism at all. From what I understand, the Brussels mayor is a centre-left mayor. He's not particularly hard left. He, he's just a, a democratic socialist yeah. like a lot of the Labour Party are. Uh, you know, the NatCon conference happened in London, like I said, under a, uh, under a Labour mayor. He didn't ban it. He didn't raid it. I don't think it's a sign for the Labour Party are going to slip and become a communist state. I, I don't think that's true. I think that's just being a, you're being a but bit you're reactive. Not, are here. you not concerned at all, Andy, uh, this, uh, of this sort of action? Where of the Labour down. Party slipping into a communist state? No, 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 shutting down free speech. Shutting down free speech. Well, you, you know, I sat across that table from you uh, yeah. not a month ago and you were calling for the pal all the Palestinian protests to be shut down. No, I wasn't. So, yeah, you were. I, no, I remember no, it. You know, we, we not, can not run all the clip. Of them, but, not all um, of them. We can run the clip, but yeah. you, you were calling for them, the police to intervene. I was uh, calling I, I think, for you know, you've, got to, you've got to get the law no, on, let's track get it right. Let's get it right. You're being a little bit dishonest in no, the I'm debate. Not. Again, what I was calling for was the people who were shining the, the murderous graphics on, on Elizabeth Tower to be arrested. That's sure. what I was calling for. Nothing wrong with people peacefully protesting, but when they're inciting hatred and the murder of a race of people, I think they should be arrested. Do you? Yeah. There you go. Jam. My logic tracks. <laughs> you know, yours doesn't. It wasn't just the the graphic shown on Big Ben. You were also going on a wider sense of. No, it wasn't. Uh, that, that's to, a the logic does need to That's track a lead. different debate, Andy. When people go out there dressed as terrorists, and you've got children dressed as terrorists, police having their photographs taken with children dressed as terrorists, they're shining graphics onto well, Elizabeth police Tower. Police were taking photos. No, they were. They were. They were widely distributed on social media. That you've, was got in these, you've got these. You've got these. You've got these extremists. Uh, shining onto Big Ben from the river to the sea, that means the elimination of a, a complete race of people. I think they should be arrested. I think they should be carted off and locked up. I could go on about this all night, Or Jan. maybe a trial first. Yeah, trial, that would be fair, wouldn't it? Well, it would be fair. It's well, it really would important. be fair, Jan. Come on, if you're going to hold up a democracy, then you need well, to be Well, it would be fair, Jan, if the police actually did the job in the first place and actually arrested I agree. People, and, uh, you know, we've not. had these instances yeah. where instead they've been arresting uh, 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 an Iranian dissident yeah. who has holds a sign which yeah. says, yeah. states the law, yeah. Hamas is terrorist. Enough of that. That's We're going to roll up now.